very good upsell and very good kind of a and that's why it's making 600k a day yeah probably yeah. yeah this is one of the things definitely like this is just ruthless the other thing is also that the items and the boosters that you have here like the game literally sl slows to a halt because there's this one thing uh, that's happening during the first three days where you are clearing this kind of forex simulation here uh, if we go to the This is a no-bullshit gaming show where we talk about games and their revenue in great detail. Powered by our ad monetization, game design, and user acquisition triple threat expertise. Welcome to the Two and a Half Gamers, the unfiltered truth served with a side of giggles. Let's not forget this is a 4 a.m. conference discussion vibe, so let's not take it too seriously. Tune in now and stay two and a half steps ahead of the gaming industry. <laughs> uh, hi, Jakub, how are you? Yeah, hello, Mike, yeah. I can't really hear you properly. Is that, is, is that the latest software on your nice, expensive podcasting recording, Mike? Is that the we latest mean the one that we, everybody has? <laughs> yeah. No, but we... I mean, so, it's, I'm pretty sure you are the person. Oh, oh well, you don't have Mac, but if you have, uh, if you have Mac, and like every time there is a new update, you will say, "Oh my God, update now!" And then you will just bitch about stuff and settings. No, oh my God, I don't do these you're things. Not, I'm you're still not following Windows my advice 10. about SDKs that I've said so many times on this podcast. <laughs> you never want to be the first, first person to download a new piece of hardware because <laughs> you don't know what happens. <laughs> now, what's happened? Now you have to do an episode sounding like you're speaking to us from a can. No, it's, it's submarine. It's yeah, submarine. submarine. Submarine Jakub, welcome. Is it a, is it a yellow submarine, Jakub? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, get yeah, over But don't this. worry, don't yeah. worry. It's not like you have to speak the most today anyway, so it's good. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome, everyone. Welcome, everyone, to We All Live in a Yellow Submarine, hosted yeah. by Jakub. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so for everybody that was uh, to know, Jakub is exactly uh, recording from the submarine, yellow one. Uh, and uh, <laughs> welcome to episode 115. Uh, my no name is Matthias. Yeah, exactly. No one cares. <laughs> but uh, we, oh, maybe we care. No, I don't. Anyway, uh, my name is Matthias Church. <laughs> I'm Felix Broberg. Yellow submarine here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we are your hosts. Uh, Okay, Mr. Yellow Submarine. Uh, anyway, so... Does Slovakia they... have any submarines? Surely not. Definitely. They're hidden in no. Croatia. They're hidden in Croatia. I mean, whatever. Anyway, right. anyway. Um, so, <laughs> interesting start. I didn't have this a law for a long time. Anyway, uh, I guess it's... Uh, it's uh, whatever. Anyway, so we are talking about uh, a total battle which is a game uh, made by a company called Score Warrior. You remember, we actually discussed this like Forex revolution uh, back what, like a few months ago, like two yeah, parts. This is definitely Forex revolution. This guy yeah, revolutionizes this is even revo more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And um, we were talking about a lot of Chinese companies, um, you know, working on Forex games. This is actually the only non-Chinese companies making waves in Forex uh, genre. So, as far as we know. Yeah. As far as we know, yes. So if because you have can be always wrong. any insights uh, about any other company that is uh, doing quite well in terms of the Forex, please let us know. Please let us know. So you know, I'm going to just do a quick intro about Score Warrior and uh, like how they like went from funding the company to where they are uh, at the moment, and then we can go and talk about the game. And there's a lot to talk about. So, um, Score Warrior, game dev and publisher from Limassol, uh, from Cyprus. The company was founded in 2015, and again, as we said, it's focused on forex strategy. And it's also mid-core MMO games. Um, the initial goal, but the initial goal was, uh, was publishing and operating third-party games. In 2016, they actually decided to, you know, work on their own games instead of uh, publishing. Uh, and the uh, idea of 
game development. So they launched the game, and uh, the first game was launched in 2017, which was the Total Battle. So they discovered the game uh, kind of very early. And, uh, you know, they kind of launched it on VEP, which is interesting. Uh, and also, by the way, we met uh, these guys uh, in Lima Sol last week, so we had a really nice lunch with them. So we know like few few interesting insights. So it was kind of launched on on web, and then they launched it on on mobile. But in 2021, again, uh, they started to actually transform the whole company, adding developers, designers, and artists to the like the whole kind of. Uh, stuff and marketing and then everything and then kind of they have now two offices in Lima Sol in Cyprus. So again the toll the Forex revolution continues and now why we are even talking about this game? Because it because, makes uh, all the money. Yeah. <laughs> and the, there's the only Forex game that added interstitials. Nah I'm lying. And, uh, have any ads. <laughs> no, no, no. no because Can you imagine? Yeah. yeah. Could you imagine? Most probably no. Yeah, so as I said, it, it, the, the game was launched in 2017. Oh, well, it, it makes 600k per day on, in IIP revenues. Uh, yeah, not bad, right? So on the web first, and then they launched it later on Google Play and App Store, uh, which is now a cross-platform game. But only in... 2022 in July, August, the game started making the real waves, um, going from 500k revenues per month, a month, to all-time high, 40 million in May 2024. What the fuck? <laughs> like, oh my god, guys! Like, absolute oh. heads off to to the work here. It's just it's going up and up again, uh, still. So that's pretty, pretty interesting. And, and this is only IIP from, um, from mobile. They have the web, so they have the own web shop. So this is only on mobile, which mm, could be 2x, 3x more. We don't know. Uh, 2x, 3x, probably no, but like definitely within margin of 50% more. Yes. I would say, yeah, at least, at least. I wouldn't expect that high, but anyway. Uh, yeah, so for everyone seeing the screen, uh, the game's kind of old, actually, because as Matthias was launched in 2017, it's seen in, in the game, we'll get to it, but nevertheless, you can still see how much this thing can pump out uh, lately, so as I said, it's going like a hockey stick currently to that 600-500k a day uh, setup that the guys are currently running, so heads off definitely to that. Uh, regarding the overall positioning of the game in the overall market, uh, if we look at the downloads of the whole Forex category for the last 30 days, of course, there's the last survival there, uh, last war, sorry, last war, our, the other thing we covered, and then white out survival, these two guys are still battling to the top. Then you have uh, Lord's Mobile, Fuck. Ebony. The Lord's what? Mobile wasn't that high. I guess they uh, are we need to yeah, cover it at some yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, for sure, because it it wasn't in, in the top five for a long yeah. time. But do do I get to understand that Ebony is the other kind of Western competitor in the race here? Uh, my... That's you muted yourself, Mate. Yes, I did because I, I I wanted to just try to find out when Ebony is based because it's... <laughs> submarines tries back. <laughs> 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 yeah uh so Evan is on the fourth place and uh guys it are is currently... yeah it says american developer llc like should be yeah, us yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. so this is not the only western competitor is let's say two of the <laughs> against the whole, whole world if, if we understand yeah, yeah, yeah. it together yeah so Evan the fourth place uh Fifth, six, seven, eight, ninth place regarding the downloads or around million downloads uh, um, a month. A month, yeah. Growing scale. Oh, there's ants here. Yeah. Also. And Legion and ants. Well, ants we covered like yeah, last but we didn't year cover on the Legion. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah last year, last year, last year. Yeah. Is this rev- the genre probably that's the most dependent on having a good UA team? Currently, yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah, it's yeah. like yeah. you have it or you don't have it, and yeah. then you're dead. <laughs> you remember yeah. what Alex said? Like this is gonna be just the default. 
Like, yeah, this is going to be yeah. default. Like we uh, basically said what we've been saying. Like this is yeah. the default state. If you don't have that, you're not at the table even. Like yeah, yeah, you're yeah, somewhere yeah. there dying on the floor. So uh, regarding revenue, We're under the water. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Under the water. <laughs> Somebody will take care of you. So last war is currently doing something like 86 million a month. Whiteout survival 61, and then you have Evan. much further Evony. 23 and uh whatever this is rise of kingdom sixth place 14 something and these guys and are also 14 title. something but yeah. they're still on a scaling trajectory which they haven't peaked yet therefore yeah. to, to see like through kind of a one strong month revenue we'll need to wait still yeah yeah, yeah. yeah so that's there uh yeah so kind of heads off where whatever last word is what like last year kind of launched so imagine that there's like a seven-year-old game competing against that's like the a thing. That's new the game, thing, and like... they're still making it. Exactly. That's, that, that's what I wanted to say, uh, but I didn't. I didn't want to interrupt you. So there you go. Yeah. Otherwise, you would Look get some you read. following yeah, comments yeah. from people. <laughs> exactly. So the thing is, like nowadays, like the global, like global launching game doesn't need to be like a very big push. It's just you can see it here. Five years old game. Now after making like additional updates and then working on the game for five years uh on mobile like now look at look at this yeah, <laughs> so it is it is possible it is possible to just have an old well not old game but you know i think like they as, as alex mentioned uh they didn't push it too much on mobile so it was just was there it was just yeah, it, on, on yeah, yeah. And, and you know my guess is that this whole kind of a this whole scaling curve whatever that i see here is basically the UA funnel improvement. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. It's like so. So just for you to know, um, uh, the Score Warrior team is quite close to to Nexters as well, and I think Alex quite mentioned close, that, meaning physically sitting on the same island. Yes, but also as friends, they know each other for a long time, so they exchange like few few notes because Nexters is the company behind Hero Wars, and Hero Wars uh, is a fake ads OG. <laughs> basically so so you know they try to um, exchange insights and then like as soon as also what, what alex mentioned like as soon as, soon as they saw evony making a, a u-turn basically because it was declining and then they implemented the pull the pin um kind of uh ads and in, in like mini games in the game and it just started to grow again that's when they realized oh my god okay we need to we need to find our way as well and it took them some time yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so let's start how this thing kind of starts. Um, like Can you just upgrade a... the tar workshop, please? Which one? Well, you have there. You have there. Tar like workshop? Tar. I yeah, don't think so. I can upgrade it because I <laughs> don't have enough. Oh, I have enough. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Well, there we go. Uh, by the way, what's your levels? Just saying. Uh, I don't want to say. Yeah, Felix. <laughs> like five. <laughs> No four. questions. Yeah, uh, half, this one... half of you as usual, man. Like I mean, like uh, yeah, there we go. I'm not a good uh, forex player at all. At all. Uh, yeah. Uh, no ads. No ads. No Felix. No ads. No ads. No fun. <laughs> no fun. Yeah. Let, let, let me just start from the beginning because this is like, as I said, like a little bit of advanced playthrough. So how the game actually start, and this is really important because I think this is part of the innovation. Yeah. So. Uh, you so start this is the mechanic that allowed them to hit scale. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. And actually, they have two, two new things here which the other guys don't have. Yeah. Uh, so you start with your, you know, choose your guy, whatever loading screen, and then there's this kind of a battle that somewhere there you march in front of a destroyed city, and the battle is there already our go. very nice gates mechanic. Uh, this one is actually very very skill based. Because last four guys with their mechanic, they, they did it completely like AFK arena power progression wise. These guys literally did it skill based and it's hard. It's very hard. I've been as, at some levels that are super hard. As Evony, the pull the pizzle. Pi, pizzle. Pull the pin puzzle. Pull the pizzle. <laughs> pull the pizzle. Pull the pizzle. <laughs> pull the, pull, pull the pin levels are really hard. They are yeah. really, really hard. Yeah, and you can skip them. Yeah, you can't skip you them can. as usual. Like skip and no. move to the whatever the the real. No, you just need yeah. to play it all over again. And it will torture you. Pull yeah. the puzzle. Yeah, this is the pull, always pull the puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So uh, even the guy in the video, you see he's dead, so he kind of continues here. Um, I'll get to that mechanic a little bit more because I think it's very interesting. Uh, and once you do that, you actually get, again, your usual lady and guy uh, narrator to kind of move you through your usual kind of click here, click there tutorial. Uh, then the CD, you see it being very familiar because yeah, it's not only the team, but the but the whole layout, everything screams to me, Game of War. This is basically yeah. like a Game of War thing. The old school forexes that we've seen there. Uh, which I was like, why is it scaling so much if it's so old school? Even the mechanics, everything is super old school. But we'll get to it later. So you continue to kind of, you know, re whatever, refurbish your city, do this, do that. Your usual click here, 40 different times tutorial. Then a few more of these. Uh, yeah. Uh, gates mechanics levels which gets more and more sophisticated actually uh there's like different whatever um, yeah towers and stuff obstacles yeah. and like goblins whatever blah 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 blah. it goes there that i think yeah there's even this fight with the dragon that uh, of course the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Killed the dragon dragons good cpi macho mm. good cpis on dragons no, no? zombies really. man Zombies. zombies. Zombies, yeah. Zombies. Of course, zombies. Always zombies. By the way, these bridges, this is yeah. the most, most hardest mechanic of yeah. this whole thing. I get to it. How many of these mini levels do you need to do before you see the hospital and the 4X experience <laughs> starts? Uh, I think like seven or eight. Yeah, but it's, it's not seven. long. It's like, what, like 20 No, no, minutes? it's very fast. It's yeah. definitely not last for long or top heroes yeah, yeah, long, yeah. where it's like, you see, this is the fight with the dragon. It's kind of whatever. This is fifty minutes, six minutes. So it's yeah, it, it's, it's very big. fast actually. And once you get here, uh, you again do few or few more of these kind of puzzles. There's this demonic invasion guy, this guy, which actually is a second mode of that puzzle, which is time based. I'll get to it later because it's a pretty good source of resources. Here's their saga. So first you start with that saga where there's a boat and there whatever, like first initial seven levels, then it unlocks the main saga of the puzzles. So it continues afterwards, even when you complete the initial script thing. And then at some point, I think, yeah, this is it, where it unlocks the main building. Yeah. And, and now you have the map and everything. So you can, you see the... You can free Hilda. Yeah, Just you free can Hilda. free Hilda. And, uh, and there we but, go. But Hilda so this here, is the... it's not on the, on, on, on the bomb, sitting on the bomb. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the important thing with Free Hilda and this is their other thing which they I think iterated very fast is that yeah, this is the the saga it has its own menu with this kind of a whatever magic tower. Yeah, this is it and this is pretty much like these are the puzzle levels. Then you get to the task system which every forex has. This is your task system which is like there's so much shit flying around. There's a task, you know what you do, click here, yeah. click here, click here, click here. So first things goes free Hilda. And the free Hilda thing is really important because what they did here, they created the forex map within the forex city. This is this is something that we haven't seen yet. Ooh. So this is not your forex map. This is a simulation of a forex map to teach users how to behave in the real forex map, which is genius because this is completely scripted, completely safe environment, no other players, no other monsters to disrupt you. So if you see, I clean it out already, but between your whole city, this was full of encounters and full of Hildas and all other people that you need to free, basically, which was simulating the experience on the real forex map that's happening there. So yeah. this is pretty genius, to be honest. So the, how, how far in the Fatui is that, the, where you need to free all the Hildas? Well, it's still in the beginning. It's yeah. like ninth minute. We already yeah, freed yeah. Hilda. So we, yeah. so we just check this out. You literally dissimulate the thing when you would do on the real map, where you yeah. need to select your troops, put them to march, and they will actually march there, see? So this is the thing. They literally have a forex, like a forex simulator, within your city to prepare you for the main forex part, which I guess it's built there because they're taking a lot of traffic, which is completely non-forex, and they now need to pretty much train you yeah. how to play the forex, which is amazing. So we're freeing Hilda. We do more of these, and it's pretty much a progression of these when you free Hilda, and then you free every single character in the story. You build the city, you train somebody, and the task continues. And if we complete the chapter, again, we are doing whatever. Kill a banshee and get the artifact from her. 
it's another soft, simulation soft forex yeah soft, soft forex. forex literally soft rkd forex the resources and everything that you have within these encounters are giant by the way those are like 40k iron 40k wood whatever everything i was like is this the thing and then i pretty much clean it all out it still kind of <laughs> continues maybe i discovered during the video but it's still they have a simulation of a forex training in front of your city that's that's how like far these guys went and then once you complete these it slowly kind of starts giving you uh yeah, somewhere here you see like they're still continuing fighting on this like simulated map we continue continue and then at some point yeah. it starts Can you giving you a little bit back there was this uh, this little this small pond i think i think i saw a submarine there <laughs> Just, just to wait <laughs> the torpedo later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there so it is, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> and then <laughs> we're at some point these tasks like I have here, uh they start giving you things outside of your city. Which means they actually try to slowly kind of push you into the real objective so when, when real is the world. balloon moment like when is the balloon moment from century games after I you think, no no i think it's like fifth hilda or something like yeah. that at some point it says that like go and destroy a monster or whatever somewhere they also have this very specific story mode don't know if you've seen it where it's literally a story about your sister getting murdered on her wedding whatever something something and it unlocks every day so world of no confidence whatever if i click it what it does you start the story there's a little bit of story here and there and what it do blah 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 oh. you have actually choices like have some story choices whatever try to persuade the people blah 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 uh okay this was without an objective but usually it's without with an objective on the main map usually what it would do it would give like create like a thing near your city you would need to walk there with your hero whatever kill the bandits move back so it would be actually think like normal objective but it's uh gated by time so every time you complete this it takes 20 hour cooldown you continue within the story that's there so it doesn't it doesn't unlock like every day you need to complete the the, the story yep. and then it unlocks and then you need to wait uh, 20, yeah, 20, 20 exactly. hours yeah but at some point as i said because for instance yeah to, to show you i ran out of uh whatever tar workshop i ran out of uh, wood so i want to get more wood find on the map and then it finds me for, for me on the map and I need to kill this guy and there you go. And you are suddenly on the big map already doing things. This is how they slowly move you to the big forex map. It's, but as I said, this whole city, in front of the city, there's this whole big plane which is full of monsters, artifact and heal dust, and you need to save them and you know, equip your character with all the things they were just laying there. It's all nicely scripted for you, which simulates the forex. Like this genre, right? Like it seems like it's very much dependent on UA and these genius like progressions on the game design level, right? Onboarding. Not, not progressions. Those onboarding. are onboarding, onboarding tutorials yeah. and tricks. Yeah. The progression, yeah, the big one, that's not a yes. kind of worms. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the onboarding, but like how quickly do you get copied and basically everyone is doing this from Century Games to Evan? Everyone is doing this essentially. Like, you know, for instance, Look. here we have the gate mechanic. Everybody is now using it. Yeah, but that's know. what I asked uh, asked Alex. Like, if if they can easily swap this mechanic to something else, because then there might be a new trend. Like we discussed, uh, obviously it's not gonna fit here. But as we discussed with Candy Crush, the the jar falling from the stairs, yeah. kind of kind of TikTok trend, which is not like a gate mechanic trend, but still could be used. So it's you need to have this implemented in a way that you can swap it easily and it still kind of won't destroy the whole game loop, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh it needs to be modular, that's the thing. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Build these like Sagas are always much of the problem is that like the mechanics they have it fleshed out a little bit. For instance, this is the also, demon one. The last war uh, thing is like they can't really easily re like remove or uh, like they change. Can't at all. It's it's hero yeah. based in last exactly. war. Exactly, <laughs> it's already implemented so much in in the game. Like they can't they can't change. See, see these guys, for instance, they don't have it hero based. They have it arcade based. Yeah, it's it's like only arcade gameplay. <laughs> last war guys, they have both the mathematic gates 
and then they have the the, the literally AFK arena one where it's like auto battler. Uh, have you found the pin puzzles and lava puzzles in the game? Yep. You didn't. No. No. Where? It's here in this mountain. <clears throat> Come back later. There will be new levels available in the future. It actually has two pin <laughs> lava puzzles in it. Nice. I don't know if I can find it on YouTube somewhere, but you can play two level puzzles. Seems like a leftover. Of their old onboarding somewhere Could be, here because it's not it's not in yeah the, see you somewhere like here anywhere. at the edge of the city where yeah, we put yeah. another edge of the city somewhere here exactly and you can you can put another you know next yeah, to the submarine yeah, yeah. in helicopter in the water. flies here later and whatever <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh that's that's, that's I don't how know, we next do it. time maybe you know slit the periscope here submarine comes exactly here. yeah exactly Who that's knows? what I said but <laughs> the important thing is very very like put into the core currently. The demon invasion guy, he literally sits here into the main uh, main building. This is the guy. He literally like tingles himself a little bit. If we wait a little bit, just notice, like, notice me, I'm here and you can get stuff from me. Because this is a special mode which is called demon invasion. There's literally even a thing like don't show in the city or you want to skip it, but it's still very profitable because you have 5,000 silver per it and you have one hour skip and 50% mark speed increase booster. And you can get six per day, if I understand correctly. Ooh, yeah. So imagine if you this, play would, this. This would be a, like at. Yeah, this is basically their form of like a small gameplay on top of something, and you get small resources on. But yeah, like rewarded video stuff. Rewarded video of, could be. Yeah, it could be rewarded video. Yeah, it's like rewarded video amount of resources that you get out yeah. of this. But. <laughs> The re- you can't use rewarded video in the UA queries. <laughs> yeah, you can't. <laughs> yeah. So, Let yeah, me just that's... finish finish this one so you see how it actually ends. There's also this kind of nice mini game where you need to click a quick time event for for your oh. army to get oh, oh, hey, Nice. <laughs> yeah, well done. Done. <laughs> done it many times. Uh, <laughs> but the thing is that the demon always sends you blah 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 I'm gonna yeah. kill you, you get the, the the things and if we go there again you see it's actually disappeared because it's on a cooldown nice. if you go here into the, the the progression, he's here and you see it's on the cooldown for 5 yeah. minutes cooldown, Sitting so there you can play minutes. it 6 times a day for 5 minutes so there. but this saga is still pretty big Like, see? it is, yeah. yeah so, I don't know what comes afterwards but they have the levels in it, it's just that they're sitting here. They're not really incentivizing for that much. There is more about like building tower workshops and getting Hildas and whatever. Or we can find an upgraded, let's see what's on the third thing here until I get to the actual boosters, because the boosters like, everything's in boosters in this game. Literally, pretty much even VIP points, whatever. So you complete these tasks and then it unlocks more tasks for you. Blah 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 blah. Da, 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 da. There we go. What's there? Chapter thirty-two. Same. More of the same. Yeah. Uh, for instance, here get fifteen materials from the crypts. You know where crypts are? It's on the main map. So if we go here, bank. There we go. It already There's translated us to the main. And we need to click on sync, explore. Explore. There we go, and we're already on the main forex map objectives, and the tutorial moves you there slowly. So that's there. Even tells you like go speed it up. There's speed ups that are, by the way, like interesting, like 50% cut down over time. <laughs> they they don't mess around with these. So uh, so that's regarding their genius onboarding, which I think is very unique. I've never seen it before, where you would have a forex map within the forex map. So I think this kind of prepares players better and they stay or stick yeah. with the game longer because yeah. they know what they're doing and it's like yeah. oh it's not Can like you put the, the retention curves of, I, of the I top have, three? I have retentions, yeah. I have retentions yeah. as well. Uh, position sure, yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's yeah, exactly. Forty four percent day one, uh eight percent day seven. I have um, last 3%. last war next to them and top heroes next as well. Oh, you want to share so, screen? Yeah, yeah, just just put there. Yeah, without whiteout as well. Last war, and uh, yeah, we're and looking at sensor it, tower, huh? sensor tower data. Thank you very much, guys, for yep. for the help. Uh, so, so top heroes leads, of course, because it's <laughs> kind of arcade RPG. But still, whiteout for forty five. Yeah, but look at look at the day ninety. Yeah. Just hover over the the day ninety. It's not as bad, and yeah. the total battle had 
has better retention on day 90 as last war. Yeah, but last war has like giant traffic. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know, with these games, like I remember seeing uh, Game of War and Mobile yeah. Strike, the machine. 20% day one. No, 14. 20, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. 14. I know. Because, you know, your your cat would be playing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. So that's that's true. Yeah, I was yeah, I was also like looking into this, so it's uh Yeah, so so few few more mechanics regarding what these guys have. By the way, I think one thing that's completely inverse and uh, I'm kinda let's say could be one of the biggest improvements here are notifications. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. But like notifications, Last War, White Out Survivor and all these other like new Forex games, they are played by taking off notifications. That's yeah. the core actually. Like you don't mm. know what you're doing, you're just taking off notifications. Not yeah. here, not okay. here. Actually, they don't have notifications. They have check marks. So yeah. when you see the quest icon yeah. here, it's check marks. It means like you can go and pick something up. Whereas there's the notification thing. Mm. You need to do something, not go pick it up. It's not new. It will yeah. stay there forever, which is inverse. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe the guys were doing it for the last eight years and before. I don't know. It was cool like that, but. For me, like when I went from whatever wide out survivor last war top hero is like, what the fuck I'm doing here? Yeah, it's not ir- it's not irritating enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So <laughs> see, you kind of get all of these, and then after I get the check, I get the two notifications now because I can still do yeah. two things in that menu. So it's like mildly infuriating, but whatever. But uh, that's ah, like I'm just. People, people, you know, people are programmed from social networks to get rid of the notification, not yeah. the other way around, guys. This is just like how it is. Like, really recommend doing an A-B test on this. That's actually, uh, actually pretty cool. Pretty good idea. Yeah. Uh, then they have their giant uh, live ops thing under this one button. We change the color based on which one is currently on, like, on track or whatever. But there's a giant calendar of things that are pretty much happening, and it's even done in a way like what's immediately coming next and what's uh like you see here for instance these are the active ones Mm -hmm. then uh, these are the get ready ones which mean like within two days three days whatever and then these are the ones that are kind of coming soon uh usually like rise of kingdoms last or whatever they literally have like a calendar in there and in the calendar menu like you have like days again the game's kind of old, let's be honest. So I guess some of the things or settings they have there are a little bit more, let's say, out of date, but it works, so no problems. Uh, they have their usual, like, initial hero trial, like, first mm. five days, five missions. This is, again, literally copied from the Chinese guys, I would say. They have also this kind of thing, like, every day when why, you come why in. Why invent the wheel? Yeah, but this is great. Like, I don't, I don't think so. It's a problem. The thing that I have it as a problem is that the notifications, like, for instance, here, they work differently. So see, I have two notifications, and like, I need to go and claim them, wow. and then suddenly the notifications go out, which is in direct contrast how these bottom notifications work because mm. these are like you need to do something, not pick it up, which is again mildly infuriating. Uh, <laughs> Going forward, uh, this is a good thing that they have here. They have shit ton of offers, literally. I I wasn't even able to find the basic shop. You find it? Like the one where you have anchored currency and like gems? No. It's just like shit ton of offers. That's it. Like we sell shit ton of offers and that's it. Thing is, I I was I I couldn't find like usually you open the game and then you you have five offers in your face. In your face? Yeah. Yeah. Here, no. No, you don't. I think you have the Leonidas offer in your face at least yeah, once. Yeah, but times. it was maybe one. Yeah, this is not even an offer. It's pretty yeah, much exactly. a top, top up now. For those who don't know, top up means uh, usually in Asian games that you spend money and because of your first conversion thing, you get something on top of it, which is yeah. called top up. I don't know why. Uh, I is. think it's re- referring to like you getting more drink or whatever. That, that's there. Uh, the good thing they have that there's this free offer that's on on sale from time to time, and you can get it for free. Then it goes on cooldown and it gives whatever every twenty hours. So it gives you like it programs you with the habit of going and picking up offers. This is your like free daily thing in the shop, basically they have here. So that's good. Then going forward, um, yeah, clans. So another thing they have here, I guess this from the old days. The moment you join your clan, it automatically teleports your kingdom there. You don't Ooh. even have to choose. You just like join clan, bam, is there in the yeah. nest. So. <laughs> 
I'm I'm somewhere here in my city, whatever. Uh, the other thing is like the usual mechanics, like gift chests, whatever. If you're in your clan, oh, there we go. There's the resources we needed. Uh, helping mechanic every time or everything can be helped. Then you help your other allies. This is bread and butter. Nothing to it. Uh, where's the chat? Yeah, there's the chat. I wanted to show you the chat. So not the kingdom one, the the, the clan, clan chat. chat. Ligley has automatically left the clan due to long absence from the game. Uh, whatever, blah, yeah. blah, blah, has automatically left the clan due to long absence for a game. So they have a kick system in place here. Of course, you need it's to play. Not... Yeah, yeah, but in Forex, like, you usually get kicked anyway because like people are ruthless, but here you get kicked even because of the game says so. So it's built into the kind of the ruthlessness. Uh, which brings me to the greatest innovation of all this has, did you find it? No. Hospital system. Level 4. Hospital system is super unique here. This is not your usual hospital system. So you have the temple here, which is a task with actually resurrecting the troops. What the temple does is that it gives you the sacred potion, whatever. Uh, and th with the sacred potion, you can revive your troops. The problem is that it's fucking expensive and you don't have usually enough. So how troops are kind of done with the hospital mechanic here is completely different than the usual Forex. Because within the usual Forex, you have a hospital, you have their healing speed and the capacity. And it needs to be big enough capacity to take your old troops and to heal them for resources, blah, blah, blah. Here, uh, there's no capacity. Zero. Everybody can be dead. And the moment they're dead, they're put on a timer until they can be resurrected. And if you don't have enough, like if I just press this one button, which I just use all of my sacred resurrection fluid. Thank you, you Jesus. Yeah, you now need to use hard currency, basically. And uh, there you go. And if I just do this and this and uh, whatever this guy and this guy and this guy, and we're pretty much good to go and we don't have any more. And then all these guys are pretty much at uh, mercy of my wallet for six days and two hours until they're dead. So that's how it goes. So it's yeah. literally shotgun this to the is head. The, this is the monetization, <laughs> main monetization point then. Most yeah, likely. one of the main yeah. monetization points. It's our favorite from the old times of Forex, shotgun to the head. Pretty much you either pay or you die. Yeah, you die. So, <laughs> <laughs> so as he says here, here you can revive up to 90% of your fallen troops. Troops can be only revived for a limited amount of time, which is yes. here. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely one of the few things I think they kept from the old times. Or I, I don't I don't know if Game of War also works like this. If I understand, they have still the hospital capacity on this Man, one. But I don't it's... even remember Game of War anymore. It's, it's ancient uh, history. Not ancient Ent history, man. Anyway, uh, what I'm saying, like this is probably one of the biggest monetization mechanics mm. because you never have enough of these. And I'm... I'm level eight, like after not even a week of gameplay, and I have still like just check how many troops are pretty much lying dead there. Yeah. So yeah, and to get these coins, uh, it goes directly to the shop. Why not? Thank you very much. <laughs> so <laughs> very good upsell and very good kind of a. And that's why it's making 600k a day. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah, this is one of the things definitely. Like this is just ruthless. The other thing is also that the items and the boosters that you have here, like the game literally sl slows to a halt because there's this one thing uh, that's happening during the first three days where you are clearing this kind of forex simulation here uh if we go to the where is it not here somewhere there there was this kind of a oh, there's so many buttons i don't even know which one it is this one bonuses so if you go into these bonuses you have the premium bonuses which is like yeah pay pay five four ninety nine to get the game faster, better, stronger. Yeah. But there's this personal bonuses. And what basically I already have some of these kind of running. For instance my P shield we in four days it will run out, which means I will be at the mercy of everyone just with a bigger army. Or March speed or whatever, like these these other things. But before I don't know if I even have it here. Yeah, you would have this uh where is it? Da, 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 da. There was this kind of a beginner bonus or whatever bonus was there that would literally tell you you can instantly speed up every timer that you do. 
and this was go. done for first three days. So every timer that you have on the onboarding is like speed up, bam, and you speed it up, and it's done. Everything. Same goes for army. Same goes for healing troops. Same goes for... So everything during the first few days, you could just kind of speed up, and there you go. And it pretty much teaches you to speed up everything. You never wait. You just go on. No. But at some point, it literally crawls to the halt. This whole beginner buff runs out. And then you just need to use all the things that you have, which are kind of scarce. Because you have, like, uh, whatever. A lot of resources and a lot of speed ups. But, you know, this is the usual another staple mechanic of Forex. Time is itemized. So we have time in, and by the way, giant chunks of time. There's literally, like... <laughs> 30 days skip time. Yeah. <laughs> so just saying. Uh, so once you run out of these, then the game kind of slows very much. The other thing is that they even have like VIP systems. Like you can have like VIP status for like, I, for instance, use mine. I can add like one more hour or whatever. Uh, even VIP oh, points. Mr. VIP. Because, Mr. Yeah, because VIP he, submarine. He, he, I was like, oh, VIP. Okay, I can get back on the train. Like, no, 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 no. So VIP is just like VIP one bonus, and it goes all the way to I don't know where. You see how the stats increase with every VIP level, and you need to have all of these bonuses kind of running there. So, yeah, it's just like whatever. Okay, VIP Mr. VIP. For... Let's go to let's go to UA, uh, yeah. Mr. VIP. Because uh, I mean, Admon, there's, I guess, there's nothing. Zero. <laughs> Obviously, zero. Um, have we talked about the retention? Uh, this is a different window. I was looking at the. Yeah, but it's it's a very interesting game. I'm really glad we we covered it because it's a testament that even with a seven years old game, you can you can try the amounts of revenue. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at June and and uh, and May in terms of the the UA. Obviously, I mean, I don't we don't even need to talk about it. But the biggest channel is Uplavin. Of course, of course, Uplavin. There's like a little bit of Google and then other channels. They run quite a lot of different things. This um, is mainly iOS, then, right? There's so oh, let me just check. It's not mainly iOS, but if we go here. We're looking at the the countries, which is basically US fifty percent. Uh, if we do devices or apps, it's not mainly iOS. It's sixty percent Android, and then yeah, it's not fifty fifty basically. If I'm looking at the uh, the numbers here, so it's fifty fifty in terms of the revenues in the last two months at least. So not only not only I um iOS. So, because yeah, uh, Apple I mean, is pretty big on iOS, right? But they're they're doing quite well on the uh, on the Android side as well. So we have others: Unity, Facebook, um, Iron Source, and whatever else. They tried TikTok uh, from what uh, what they said uh, didn't work out that well. But I think it's uh, it's a good time to you know to hop on this train again. Um, anyway, the interesting thing here: this is the playable. Look what we have here. Yeah, it's one to one to the game. Yeah. Exactly. It's exactly the recording. My ears are bleeding. <clears throat> and and that's like you know, just took the the beginning of the game. Now. It's easy. So we're looking at the the main play, but I would kind of argue. Okay, I can. I don't need to play it again anymore. Uh, I would argue it's only one playable, honestly. It uh, hasn't failed, by the way. Uh, As should, please take so, down yeah. the sound. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. Uh, so I'm just gonna reshare this and just. Uh, yeah, but it's basically the same thing. You. Click this, on the playable, yeah. you see it, I guess, in the store, and then yeah, 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 exactly. get it the first thing that so no fakeness at all. Yeah, I mean, yes, they have like different, <laughs> yeah, they have different. Oh, things. they have from the side, okay, yeah, from the side. So, this is like the thing is, um, they use the gate mechanic obviously with like, oh, mass, wow, there's mass even battles squares, feeling, there. yeah. So, they have different perspectives, different backgrounds, multiple variations of things, um, even like reword gates, which is kind of giving me a lot of mobile feel. Mm -hmm. Long form videos like this, for example, is one minute long, and this okay. is still like one uh, one creative. It, yeah, it's oh, wow. thirty this seconds. Is really nice. 
yeah, it's super, super cool, to be honest. Uh, and then they have obviously Very the, clever. the barrels with the, with ebony and playables. So, yeah, that, like, look, see, like so many things in, in that one video. And this is just a kind of like new thread, like uh, going from left to right, like different backgrounds mm -hmm. and, and just turning the, the camera view like here. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it's it's perfect. Like this is definitely something that I've seen on uh, on Last War as well, and I think like mm. Age of Origins and different things, right? So, the blight. Yeah. <laughs> also, we have this as well, which is a little bit slower, but still the same same kind of um, mechanic or like the gates and the numbers and everything. It's like this is on not gates, but you know you get the, you get the point. Mm -hmm. It's the that's that's it basically. Uh, we have these. They tried lift the different things in terms of the concepts. Yeah, we have these here. Like this is only full screen, but I'm just yeah. That, that was trying. oh okay, it's not only static. Yeah. yeah, that was only like an end card, but here we have. They basically use the last war creative, yes. even though they're a medieval game. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so you have machine guns I, and RPGs. You have machine guns, yeah. You have these like tanks, uh, soldiers, and helicopters, stuff. and stuff. Yeah, of course. I mean, more or less, like, this is the guy. It's medieval armor, but still uh, the machine gun. <laughs> yeah, I guess this is like a, you know, this is basically a routine in forex. Like yeah. these guys are running it. We need to run it, even though we're a different game. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's that's the thing. That that's what we saw. Forex yeah. routine, basically. Yeah, and then we have uh, also the the different perspective here. Still one minute long video, so this genre is so competitive. Yeah, yeah and like... also like they do what like one one person find Jesus finds out something works, like everybody is gonna copy it. Yeah. Everybody and immediately. <laughs> it's like nobody cares. I think the whole marketing team probably just starts their day with checking what's the new creatives the other game yeah, are having. Yeah, yeah. I mean they try different things like uh, like this, for example. I'm just gonna share it here as well. Yeah, for those not watching, we're basically looking at different variation of the gates mechanic. Oh wow! We have, we have also this I regions. kind of like state IO regions type of gates mechanic and stuff, which is also quite interesting. Uh, didn't work apparently uh, because but... we don't see other games running it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and also look what we have here. Hey, oh, this looks like mob channel. control. Yeah, yeah, which game is this? <laughs> this, is, this is mob control, actually, the mob control mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> so, there are so many different concepts uh, that I would do. Well, obviously, uh, we started working together for a like, brief period of time. So, there are things that uh, I save already... this one, please. I want to use this one. No worries. Yeah, I, I have it in, in, the, in the prep deck. Uh, so, this time, so I would, I would kind of say like, what I would try in this case but this time we'll do it differently so guys basically since you watched the previous episodes about creative trends and then the, the game reviews i mentioned all of the different concepts millions of times before so could you write us a, in the comment section what kind of concepts you think would work for for this game that we didn't see in their creative um, gallery or the creative concepts depth because I already uh, worked on 10 different concepts uh, for Total Battle. So now they're going to be tested next week. So I don't want to spoil that fun that much. But uh, please do, do comment and, uh, and also join the Slack channel where we, kinda, we can discuss uh, exactly what, what uh, is working and what is not working well uh, for, for this game. And also there's the interesting tidbit. Uh, so as I mentioned in the beginning, they also have the game on the web and they run ua on the web as well by the way mm. so i can i can just show this as well so they run the the ua on the web because i was i was kind of uh looking into the um, the youtube uh and their youtube channel by the way uh the, the youtube channel is live and kicking the new content is being added like almost yeah frequently they have 157,000 subscribers so guys if you want to do a crossover episode yeah just uh definitely up for it <laughs> <laughs> you can post it there. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to say like I I was targeted uh, by their ads on, on YouTube when I was trying to search for uh, for Total Battle as, as a game. So all in all, honestly, all of these like different uh, different creatives and stuff is just it's just wow. And How many? Oh, there is like, another player. So many different concepts that have also this 
Okay. Better one. Everybody's it, using it, I guess. Yeah, even with, even though it's flab. medieval soldiers with shield, we still use machine guns. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, or lasers in this case. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, yeah, I have a few different uh, stuff in there uh, in the uh, in in the in those videos, which are also quite crazy. Anyway, so more playables, I would say, uh, and different creative concepts. But overall, like for from my point of view, it's like they're like solid nine in terms of like the the creatives and the UA in general. Felix? We have to be if you're gonna make that much money in forex, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You have to be very solid. You want to do some more ads estimates? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> of course not. After course having not. lunch, they're like, we're never gonna have ads. I'm like, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank, thank you for validating my point. Anyway, uh, my case is basically 8.5 out of 10. Uh, one is for the game could definitely use a little bit more navigation polish, guys. There's so yeah. many unique features that you can just, I guess, smoothen the notification, not change the features, just smoothen the notifications panel that's there. And then, uh, yeah, I'm guessing that uh, stuff regarding the... Like the economy, I get that it's kind of super stingy and that's why probably is monetizing so well, but maybe I would, I don't know, just maybe like non Forex designer speaking out of me that like I would. 8.5. Thank bit. you very much, Jakub. Yeah. You're yeah, fucking yeah. talking the whole time. So um, thank you very get much. Get off for... the submarine. Yeah, yeah get yeah, off the yeah, submarine. Yeah, yeah. Welcome but, but, back. But last thing, like the, the Forex map within Forex map is genius. We've never seen Perfect. it. That's like the best best thing that you there definitely thank you very much for coming and for listening we have one more episode lined up for the this week we are gonna be ready in in two days and it's gonna be star wars hunters see you next time bye bye yep. bye bye, bye. bye.